Will your relationship with the U.S. changed now that President Donald Trump will be in the White House come five days from now? Look, Ukraine, during the last three, day, three years, uh, gained a very strong bilateral support in the United States. This is support of the U American people. This is support of the American Congress, both House and Senate. And this was—I'm uh, absolutely confident that would be support of the previous and future administration. No doubt about that. But President, do you plan to meet President Trump to make sure that the loan guarantees that the U.S. provided will continue to be there? This is not only an economic question. This is a significant importance of the uh, political importance of this meeting. And uh, uh, one of the f I was one of the first mm -hmm. world leader to whom President Trump called immediately after the election. And we have a quite a promising conversation. We agreed that uh, immediately after inauguration, we agreed the date of my visit to Washington, D.C., and the agenda of our negotiation would be quite big. We speak, Mr. President, in Bloomberg surveillance with all sorts of people with varied opinions on the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, whether it's Admiral James Stravitas, whether it's Joseph Nye, the great student of international relations and power. Define for us the NATO you need after we saw the president-elect say NATO is a thing of the past. Look, I'm absolutely confident that the world needs NATO, because after Russia violated and completely ruined, when Russia annexed the Crimea, and when Russia made an aggression on the east of my country, Russia completely destroyed post-war global security system based on the uh, Security Council of the United Nations. And the NATO left the only effective security mechanism in mm -hmm. the world. And that's why this is not only very important for the member state, but this is very important for the global security. Do you perceive general. it as a new isolationism? Do we hearken back to the 1930s when you hear the rhetoric from the president-elect? Uh, I hate the idea, actually, to command that. I am confident that the uh, the future for on country removing all the barrier in the international trade. This is the policy of my country. That's why immediately after I was elected, I signed up the deep and comprehensive free trade agreement with the European Union. Mm -hmm. And now within the two and a half year, we increased our turnover with the European Union from 31 to 40 percent. This is the results of the uh, mm -hmm. free trade agreement. We just weeks ago signed up with our Canadian mm -hmm. uh, partners a new free trade agreement between Canada and Ukraine. And uh, today we speak uh, with the Chinese leader, uh, President Xi, about the uh, expanding our cooperation with China, including the acceleration for providing the Trade and Economic Commission, which should be happen in the first half of the year, and agreed about the very practical steps we which we undertake in the very immediate future mm -hmm. to expand the cooperation between Ukraine and China. That's why I doubt that it would be any other alternative mm -hmm. if the world mm -hmm. should provide the economic growth, uh, then uh, Isolationism is not a good idea from my point of view. Uh, President Poroshenko, can you just update us on what it would mean for Ukraine if the U.S. were to repeal sanctions on Russia? Look, this is the uh, question not about Ukraine, absolutely. This is the question, again, about the global security. If you allow anybody to make an aggression against the sovereign and independent country mm -hmm. just for their wishes to reform the country, to be Western, to build up Western-style democracy, to fight for the freedom and democracy. This is the question of value, not the question of sanction. Mm -hmm. And I want to remind you that we have a Budapest memorandum when the uh, United States of America take the obligation to defend uh, and to support our sovereignty and territorial integrity when we voluntarily give up our uh, nuclear weapons. And, and, President, at the same time, a lot of people have been asking why the West was not quicker to react. But if the U.S. does repeal these sanctions, does it mean that the EU will also lift sanctions against Russia? Look, 
if you're asking me who is the person to influence the, the, the most to lift the sanction, this is the president of Ukraine. And if this sanction would be lifted when Russian troops get out from the Ukrainian soil, when they stop the occupation, this is exactly what we need. We don't need anything more.